Hey, Coach Juan. So, Fremont Ross, you're the head football coach there. Yeah. And you have some girls wrestling here. Yep. Is your daughter one of them? Uh, two. Two? two, two both have, of your daughters? So, Layla, well, I have one as a freshman. She was state alternate this year. And then I have Layla, who's in D2, and then Kaylani, who's in the junior high division. That's seventh grader. Have you ever coached your kids at anything else besides girls wrestling? No. Really? No. My wife's a track coach, so when they're in track, she coaches them. And she's also the head wrestling coach, so I'm her assistant coach in wrestling. Are you serious? Yeah. But you're the head varsity football coach? Yes. You guys had a great season this year, right? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good guy. You have good guys, I know that. Yeah. We got a lot going to one, so yeah. You have a guy that was in the he was in the running for the Mr. Ohio, I saw like a quarter yep. finalist. Yep. You're pretty good. Yep, yep. They're graduating though, so we'll regroup and you know, come back at it. We got a bunch of young guys still that got a lot of playing time uh, this year, so I'm keeping an eye on this match, that's why I'm not looking at you. But why do you feel it's important for you being a head varsity football coach to be involved in, in girls wrestling? Uh, not just girls wrestling, the boys wrestling as well. We had a good year with our boys. We had a lot of football kids come out that were new. Um, I, I just love the sport of wrestling. You know, I grew up wrestling my whole life. Made me a better football player. Uh, I, if I can use my title as a football coach to get boys and girls out for wrestling, that's what I'll do. Uh, wrestling's on the rise for the females, and it's going to continue to grow. Being a D1 football player, you played for uh, Bowling Green, for Urban Meyer at Bowling Green. Uh, what did that mean to be a D1 football player? And what did wrestling do for you in the sport of football? Uh, mental toughness, uh, working, you know, just the habits, the mentality. Um, you know, with that and wrestling, I give a lot of credit uh, to my football play. And I think that's why I was able to walk in as a freshman, true freshman, and start right away. Uh, so I, you, you'll see it in the NFL all the time that, you know, some of your best linemen, D linemen, they're also wrestlers and two, three times state champs. How many matches did you wrestle against the Miller boys in high school? <laughs> I don't know how many times we wrestled. You wrestled me like five times, I think, between then, junior. I remember you beat me up so bad in junior high. I was like a zitty kid. My zits were bleeding. <laughs> you beat me uh, up so bad. And then Tate. And you so beat Tate. I, so I had to because my brother always got beat by Chad. Oh, that's right. We did have a, one of us did beat yeah, one of you. Yeah. I so didn't even realize he, that. He always says, um, you know, do something I couldn't do. So, yeah. Well, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I saw you last week and I had like a flashback over my shoulder. I was like, I remember you clubbed me in the back of the head and I remember seeing stars. Yeah. Not kidding. I yeah. saw stars. It was like pretty, was, pretty horrible. You know, it's, it's cool. Um, you know, having a Miller family, our dads, yeah. you know, go to tournaments and hang out. Both hillbillies. Yeah, both definitely hillbilly, hard work. Blue collar guys. Blue collar guys work hard. I think they raise their kids right. And, yeah. You know, and look at us now, we're getting old. Yeah. <laughs> Tell my niece that. All right, you guys are up here. Do you got anything else for me? Uh, nothing. Just, um, you know, excited about girls wrestling. It was awesome showing here and... Uh, you know, at the state tournament, it was awesome to see that. That Good. was awesome. You're on the mat. Good luck. Yeah, thanks.